Bam, bam. Da, 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 bam, bam, da. How do you know? Oh. Wow. Portrait mode. <laughs> Hello. I don't know if a lot of y'all know this, but technically me and Christine are from the same hometown. <laughs> kind of. She claims my hometown, but it's fine. It's better than my actual hometown. So we are doing a little something fun today. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. With our new vlogging camera. Yes. yes. Why do I have sunglasses on? It's not even. <laughs> Christine had a little fun night with some Pinot Grigio. No, I had a... A nice Cabernet. A nice Cabernet. Some will say. Also some Modelo. <laughs> some some Modelo apparently. It was a fun night. Yes. My grandma doesn't have Wi-Fi. So that should really explain it to everyone. Yeah. So uh, what are we doing today? We're going to be eating. Yes. Quite a bit. We are hitting all the stops because California doesn't have these gyms. We are going to hit all of our favorite eateries. Food stops. From our hometowns. So yes. we and are. And the kicker is Monique hasn't been home in five years. So she hasn't eaten any of these foods. In a long, in a long, long, long time. time. Yeah. So, so we're going to take you guys through our favorite drive through spots. And our favorite meals. It's a little mukbang, you know, maybe some bookish trivia questions. But really, it's just to be here. And eat, yeah. An excuse to do what? To eat. There you go. All right, we'll come back when we get to the first spots. <sighs> it's like a breath of fresh air, you know? It really is. I can't believe it. We're just taking a moment, you know? So wait, what are you going to get? A sausage biscuit. Oh. That was fast. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I want. Oh, it's a french fries. Honestly, the meal that I get here is the chicken supreme combo. Yeah, but it, you getting that at, right now? I mean, I guess it's 11 now. You I did that know. on do they still? <laughs> do they still have breakfast? Yeah. Hi there. Um, You want a sausage biscuit, you said? Yeah, sausage egg and cheese biscuit with that. Do y'all still have sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits? Oh, perfect. I forgot that. One of those is a small fry. Yeah, can I do a sausage, egg, and cheese in a small fry? You want honey mustard? No. Um, we're also going to get some grits. No! Okay. That's totally fine, you know? That's fine. Should I get something then? I thought you want the Chicken Supreme. All right, all right. Do you have like a kids combo of the Chicken Supreme? Yes, ma'am, we do. Can I do that? <laughs> all right, so we're going to Sonic. Yes, I know this is a nationwide fast food chain, but they don't have any places really close to us in Los Angeles. So we are hitting up the Sonic. Altadena. That's the A word. It's not Altadena. That's what I was thinking of, though. Yeah, but I don't think it's in Altadena. I think that's where it is. I don't think so. So when we have this editing, Christine. I'll um, look it up. Yeah. This is fancy. I guess I should record it. Please. <laughs> Please. I'm trying to hold on to stuff. Okay. This car me... got mucked up. Shit. I was trying to vlog. You drove past the drive-through. I was trying to get your re talk it to the person. Okay. I didn't even need to go here because this is not where you order. Oh. Well, how are you going to back into it anyway? I'm a pretty good driver. All right. I know exactly what I'm well, getting. Sonic awesome. Can I get you today? Hi there. Can I get a medium cherry limeade? A medium cherry limeade, anything else? A medium ocean water. A medium ocean water. Mm -hmm. You said a medium ocean water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else for you today? No, that'll, 
Oh, wait. And the breakfast toaster. The breakfast toaster. Just the sandwich. Just the sandwich. You said a breakfast toaster with ham? No. No. Bacon. Bacon's good. All right, anything else for you today? That'll be it. I had an idea. What? To like ask people what they're reading right now. Do it. This seems like a good start. I feel like this is a good one. Let's see Ooh, what? I can swipe my card. This is fancy. This is so annoying. That beeping. Hello, Kitty too. How you doing? Hi. Hi. How do I ask it? Like, are you reading any books right now? Do it. Do YouTube. Oh yeah. yeah. I was actually gonna say, are you reading any books right now? No. No. Well, I'll be reading um, Colleen Hoover. Oh, which one? Which one? I love um, it ends with us. Oh, oh, you so wait, you read it before, or yeah, you're about to? I read it. Are you about to read? It starts with us. I started, but I just couldn't get into it. Okay. Oh, we haven't read that one I yet. Know. I know. It wasn't like the first one. I was like all into the book. Like, yeah. I couldn't stop reading it. Like I was reading it at work and everything, but that one was just like. Because oh, there's wow. no drama in that I one. I knew so. it. I knew it. That's so funny. Oh, uh, okay. Now I gotta make some room here. Yeah. Thank you. I was gonna say the beauty of Sonic is that they give you a tiny little mint. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good answer. I know. It ends with us. I honestly assume everybody in the South is reading. It ends with us. Okay. Um, Why is that? Just because I feel like that's a widespread, popular book with people right now. Mm. You know what I mean? Ooh. I thought we were. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. <laughs> the Roomies Digest. It's the Roomies Digest. Okay. Cool. Yes. All right. Thank you. That's so funny. Ay, ay, ay. She was like, I see your camera. Yeah. What are you? She's going to be really surprised. When we have no <laughs> followers. <laughs> Ooh. Looks good. What's wrong? It's so close up. No? Whatever. I was like, we can't change it. Yeah, I'm over it. I'm your over head it. is out of frame, but it's also vlogged. Okay. Your mom will like these meats. Take the mints for Lee. Okay. So we went to Sonic. <laughs> we got our favorite beverages. Now the ocean water is ocean watering out the side of the cup, but you know, oh let it focus. That's usually how it goes with Sonic. They overflow. But that's because they give us the good stuff. They have the good ice. I'm talking the crushed pebbles. Yes. The crushed pebbles. Tell me why I used the crushed ice thing on my uh, mom's refrigerator. And the thing was just making noise all night. She said, I don't normally do the crushed option. I said, oh, sorry. I was just trying to be fancy, I mom. Thought, I, said, I said, you have the option of crushed ice. When and you you're click not it, using it. When you click it, she said, the cube is better than mercy. So. Yeah, Sonic Superior. With the ice. Actually, Zaxby's. Should we compare? No, we don't need a drink from Zaxby's. But I don't need a drink from Zaxby's, but Zaxby's should be Zaxby's ice on the list. Is I like people just get cups of ice for Zaxby's. I don't know if people how should people come up with Sonic and ask for cups of ice? Okay, Christine, before you dig into that, I you need to try about to eat. My favorite sandwich. Okay. The breakfast toaster. Yeah, tell me about this because I've never So my normal eaten this. order from Sonic when I go would be back in the day would be the breakfast toaster meal the ocean water and a chili cheese fry oh a chili cheese fry yeah mm -hmm. that's a good option but we didn't need that for this breakfast part meal. of the day yeah. so what time is it it's like 10 11 11 30 all right yeah we're saying breakfast loosely it's because it's our first meal we got to start off s smart this looks like a bona fide grilled cheese yeah, I'm just gonna. Do you want me to rip it? Do yeah, you that's want fine. This? Okay. I'm gonna take a bite. Just, yeah, give me like a sm small. Oh, I was giving you half. Okay, yeah. All right, so to me, first impressions, it's looking like a bacon, egg, and cheese on toast. It is. Like, it's not gonna focus with our faces in there, but. It is. You guys see that? I'm taking a bite. I'm oh, hungry. yeah, I was like, damn. Wow. Definitely American sliced cheese. You know. This is pretty good. Yeah. A little burnty. But the bacon has good crunch. Bacon, good crunch. But it's really good. 
Mm. Can we take a sip of your drink? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? Mmm. Cherry limeade, man. Mmm. I haven't had ocean water in so long. I forgot about the carbonation. It really hit like a nice, nice Sprite. This is so good. Am I just hungry? Yes. I was getting a little hangry there. I'm sure you could see in the edits. Christine will edit me lovely, I'm sure. <laughs> what can I say? You know, you're the bell of the ball. <laughs> uh. I just learned about my third deacon. Deccan. I don't know what it is. Impatience. Is a virtue of mine. <laughs> I could have told you that. Alright. This, this is okay. good. It's not gonna be as good as the next thing. Right. Exactly. So like I don't I wouldn't even say finish that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this little piece. I don't even think I'm gonna finish this. Yeah, put it in there. Cause my probably favorite place to eat back home besides the last place we're going to because there's a variety there um, this one is bojangles why Maybe. <laughs> because my favorite meal on this earth is chicken nuggets like chicken strips chicken, chicken fried with french fries okay and bojangles is like so high level okay this is a small yeah yes the fries are are coated hold on stick your face out the fries are coated perfectly in this like bow jangles seasoning now? and the chicken is delicious also best honey mustard for a dip go ahead mo first of all this is a small look at that yeah it's big y'all don't know nothing about this Y'all talking about Popeyes, KFC, Bohan Glaze, okay? Popeyes and KFC are mid. They're mid. They can't even compare. They can't even compare. I love this place. And honestly, everything at Bojangles is good. Like, you can get pretty much anything on the menu, and it's going to taste good. Bacon, egg, and cheese, bowberry biscuits, chicken supreme Black combo. I didn't I didn't forget. I didn't want one. What, bowberry? Yeah, I didn't get one. So for dessert. We don't need you. Mm. We really don't. Oh, and mm. last but not least, the biscuit. That is really what makes this. You can't. Okay, exactly, exactly. You can't eat. Popeyes even. has nothing. Them dry. We need to ass. insert that TikTok. Mm. Popeyes. I'll biscuit. find it. <coughs> like, look at this. Uncomparable. Okay. Now nah, wait. Now the Popeyes. They have some good dips because they got the shrimp. They do have okay. good dips. But we're, you know, we're basing on you chicken. You know why they need the good dips, though. Because their food is dry. That's right. I know that's right. They only have one dip at Bojangles because they don't need a lot of dips. And have, I actually, rest have, my case. They have barbecue honor. sauce at Bojang Glaze as well. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Thank God. It's good. You want some of my chicken? I'm okay. I do want some of that honey mustard. This is my favorite meal. Just you keep talking about it, so. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Wow. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Am I a person that dips my biscuit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> into the honey mustard? It is fries, ma'am. Uncomparable. Like, you don't even like fries, you know? Y'all better come get y'all some of these. <laughs> what you say? It's a chicken salad. <laughs> Y'all better come get me one of these. It's a chicken salad. From where? Hey, first to tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Oh. You know a French fry is good. And you don't even really need tips. I only did it because she was hyping up the honey mustard. Like sometimes, usually it's the other way around. You know, people, you need, you need something. You need a ketchup. Mm. Because the fries are plain. This is the only french fry I could eat that is like... Perfectly seasoned? Perfectly seasoned. Alright, let me eat my chicken. My, my wow. Biscuit. Alright, I can't eat all this because I won't be able to go to the next place. Okay. Last but not least, the sausage, egg, and... Oh. 
<laughs> the sandwiches are they're top tier. Yes, Christine. They know you're eating a, a biscuit. Okay, it's really the biscuits that make it good. Did the lighting change? Whatever. Mm. 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 You know that biscuit is buttery, flaky, perfectly designed to make the best breakfast sandwich you could ever have. I'm hyping it up for mm -hmm. good reason. Bojangles deserves a full div undivided attention. So just give me a second. <laughs> you haven't had it in five years. Oh, mm, so good. Cherry limeade. Perfect. Is that what the people want? Perfect? Oh, a burp. I thought you were talking about, I was like, the biscuits are perfect? Biscuit? No, they really... I can keep going on about this biscuit, okay? But it is what sets apart. KFC can never, they really probably want the recipe, honestly. It would do them better service. <laughs> Popeyes is just too prideful to even act like something's wrong with their biscuits when they know it's a uh, choking hazard. They know it is. I've never seen a more true TikTok. It's just funny because <laughs> I've told you this story before, but back when I was at work, and Jordan went and picked me up, um, like <laughs> food. And he ain't getting no dip. I got, I said, where are the sauces? And he said, oh, you didn't say you wanted any. I'm like, I didn't have to say I need sauces for a Popeye's meal. It should be, like, if you want to live, you have to have sauces. He said, yeah, you got to try. Try chicken. Try <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> No ketchup or nothing. I wasn't even. I wasn't even prepared. He was rude for that. I wasn't even prepared for the ketchup. Like I'm not a ketchup person. PSA. Um, I don't really. Prefer you like it. vehemently hate ketchup. I don't hate ketchup. I just would rather eat anything else. Like what? Right. I can't keep eating. I'm gonna get full. Yeah, you should stop. I'm gonna eat this whole biscuit though. I think. Wow. The kids meal? I've never done that before, but like, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, you know? Mm -hmm. Hi! <laughs> uh, mine's not red at all. Yes, because I'm drinking ocean water. Mm. Refreshing. Mm. Kind of pink. So that means you have a nice, healthy, um, color to your tongue, you know? When people see you out on the street, they're gonna be like, wow. Her tongue's not yellow. Yeah, when people see me, they're gonna like, wow, her teeth are staying blue. Possibly, yes. possibly. Anyway, so our next stop is going to be Zaxby's. Zaxby's. Yes. Okay. And, you know, why is this place important, Mo? Because people need to understand that this place is better than Cane's. Raising Cane's, is that what it's called? Raising Cane's? Mm -hmm. Zaxby's is, in my opinion, and I would say yours, should I speak for you? Yeah. Um, I would say it is also better than... Uh, Raising Cane's. Yeah, Zaxby's is. Honestly, uh, Raising Cane's is like a cheap... <gasps> comparison. <gasps> To Zaxby's. See, when, when I, well, we'll say it when I get in line. But what I normally get at Zaxby's, I feel like it might be too messy for the car. So I might just be sticking. But see, the thing is, you can't even compare Zaxby's to Razor Case because Razor Case can't even get the menu items. <laughs> like, Razor Case can't even get the menu items. They only do chicken tenders. And yeah. that, that already limits them. Yeah. Because Zaxby's can do that well, you know? And give you something else. And give you more. The sauce. The same sauce. The toast. Chicken. The onion rings. The fries. You like the fries? I was just going off of the stuff that Raisin Cane's has. Oh well, yeah, the fries are... Fries have seasoning. Superior. Anyway, I'm yeah. I think the, the, the main... And component. the ice. What kind of ice do they have at Cane's? They might have crushed. I think they do have crushed. I wonder, where, I wonder where they got that from. I wonder which one started first. I I really do want to know. Wait, like, we can't look that up because it might really ruin our uh, thing. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't look up Zaxby's until. We'll, we'll, we'll eat Zaxby's fair. and then we'll look it up 
while we're eating Zaxby's, okay? Okay. All Let's right, cool. Let's hit it. We're almost here. Rebecca Black has so many tattoos, I never realized. Where is she? Right here on the thing. Her music is playing. Oh, oh. Toflo! Oh. Hello. All right, we're at Zaxby's. We are. Let the shit talking commence. <laughs> Just I'm kidding. excited. We didn't discuss what we're gonna get. I know. Should we do like a combo or? I like. What usually, I get the wings and things, but I feel like it might be too messy. Yeah. So let's just do the chicken tenders. Like but I the want box combo. Yeah, but I want onion rings. Okay. So I don't need fries. You can have them. Well, let's just say onion rings instead of fries. All right. So we're gonna do the number one combo. Um, hi. We don't need to get a drink though. Can we do um the number two four fingers? And instead of fries. And instead of fries, can we do the onion rings? I'm sorry, we no longer have the onion rings. Um we only have fries and chicken tenders. Okay. Okay. Um can you do the number two four fingers? That's okay. Alright, that'll be it then. Okay, thank you. It's nice to get that reaction on camera, you know. Wow. I thought this would only happen to Christine. Five and years the later, Bojangles, but five years later, they stopped selling the onion rings. It's my own fault. Wow, we clearly have not been eating out. You know. Ugh. I can't it's believe the only it. onion rings I like in the world. I love that that happened to both of us. Like I feel yeah. bonded now. I feel very bonded. How you doing? You got a finger plate with a water? Yeah. 871. Thank you. You are. Oh, I got a... So I don't know why you got a water. Oh! Thank you. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask her what she's reading. Why not? She seems all about her business. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's like, get through this line. We should have asked who the person was ordering. Should I do that next time? I'll do that. It just, you gotta figure out the vibe, you know? That's what I'm saying, like, the vibe of the person that was ordering seemed, they seemed like they would have said that. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, you have a good one. This one though, should I go to the parking lot or should I just go to Lizard's Thicket? Should, should we do a twofer? Parking lot? Let's just eat it here. All right, I must live my life on the edge because the parking assist just keeps going off. Yeah, I mean, everyone, that's why everyone says stuff when you drive in Christine. But it's because you know the parameters of your own car, so what can we do? What can we do? The passenger. Who is everyone? You're the only person that says stuff wow. when I drive. So we really could look a whole lot different if we... I knew this was going to change your vlogging game. I just want to say something really quick. I have been trying to get this camera for forever. Here, hold this, will you? Because Monique does not like vlogging. <laughs> And she'll always, she always like covers her face. She'll be like, ah, rah, rah, rah. or she'll, she'll just be like, yeah, it's about, <laughs> or like, it'll be like shaky cam, like literally. And I was like, I know when I get this camera, Monique is going to love how she looks. So she's going to vlog more. So really this was for y'all. Okay. I bought this camera for us, but it's really for y'all so that you can see more of your favorite person. Don't get into my gum line. Good gracious. Please. That's a that's a beauty shot. I think I have something in my teeth. Oh wait, do I? <laughs> anyway. So ooh. <laughs> so I was like, I don't I didn't even put any makeup on today. So this is actually gonna be a true comparison to Kane. Yeah, that's why we because, had to get this. Um, it's literally the same thing. It's the same thing. The fries are going to be better, I feel in my soul, truly. Honestly. Um, we get slaw. Yep. Texas toast. We probably should just got the snack meal. I only wanted the onion rings. The onion rings with a loss, y'all. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know if they're doing it to compete with Canes on the West Coast, but they should have they kept it. <laughs> <laughs> because it was one of the best. Oh, we didn't get a ranch. Oh, well. Oh, ah, it's hot. Oh, my God. I can't with you right now. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. All right. All right. So first up, the toast is already I know gonna be better. Look at that buttery. Oh, we're not ripping it. Oh. I mean. There you go. 
thanks. <laughs> Are you better? Can I get a fork? Because I know you don't like slow. Oh, these fries are too hot. They come out fresh. You know, we don't have to wait. Maybe if we had a different location. We only have the one location. Wait, you're not going to eat this, right? The saw? You are? No. Great. Ooh! I told you it was hot, but you ain't listen. I think I'm one of the few people in the world that likes a good coleslaw. I actually do like coleslaw, but I wish you have that because you took your fork. You're not going to react or nothing? Is this the worst slaw you ever had? I asked you if you wanted some. And you said, <laughs> you said, I said, you gonna eat coleslaw? I said, that. look at how green their thing is. You got some water straw. Here, I'll give you an extra tender. Yeah, you know that's all I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the chicken. Go ahead and talk about the sauce. Okay, the sauce for Zaxby's is. I'm realizing I'm a sauce person too. Like I always thought Monique was more of a sauce person, but I'm just not verbal about it. Like I have my preferences and I know that they're the best. So I just really don't have to t explain it to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the thing about the Zach sauce is it is similar to Kane's sauce, but I think this one is better. Don't you? Like in your opinion? I'm going to say yes. Cause I think Zach was a superior. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm still reeling from the fact that there's no onion rings. <laughs> I don't know why it's better. Because it's definitely just like the same exact sauce. Like, literally, it's the same thing. Alright, let's do it. But, there's for some no reason, butter. I feel like it's thicker. Oh, that's a big dip. Don't need all that. Ooh, that was a good dip. Well, this is really hot. I think this just came out of the freaking fryers. I'll take the small one. Tindy. Is it hot? Ah. Oh, the juice. Ah. You know, ah. here's the juice. This is ill. <laughs> it's juicy. Ah, please. Yeah, Popeye's still never. Like, ah. fudge. Mm. Dude, that is like such a good tender. You kidding me? The way that it was it was on your face and the tender at the same time, that's, that's some good quality. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That's what time you get chicken fingers and buffalo wings. The wings. Yeah, tell me about that. You were gonna get those, but I think this was good for a comparison. Yeah. So uh, this is not my usual. Well, now I'll never have my usual go-to order again. That's sad. Because again, they don't have any wings. We should write a letter. No, there's no point. Why would we write a letter for something we can't buy anytime soon? Mmm. The thing is, the t the. <laughs> Fries too have a seasoning. This is making some noise. That's Sorry. crazy. It's it's the seasoning, but also the potato. Okay, you get what I'm saying. You bite into that, and you're tasting tater. <laughs> okay, you're not tasting you know ref like refrozen in and out fries. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't even bring that into me. like you're tasting fresh, delectable potato, and that is also why these fries get a good rating from it look at that seasoning oh my gosh oh wow it's so good dude i can't even mm. 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 wow that's good close off good too this my this might rival kfc well yeah you're talking crazy i mean you can't tell because you're not eating it yeah i'll save you a bite i'm okay i'm okay i'm saving saving the last dance for Cook out the big one yeah the big one so the next place we're gonna go to is a place i don't even think it's a chain i think it's literally just here you need to rip this up properly okay don't want to eat this i'm good i ate a bite you saw that bite that's all you you were full that quick i'm trying not to get full because we still got a lot to do take a bite out of that just take one bite that was a nice crunch did y'all hear that crunch Kane's could never do that butter on there. <laughs> it's cooked to perfection. Are you done with this? You done with this? I mean, I will eat another bite, but you can touch it. Look, I just want to show y'all the butter on this. Kane's could never. Like this is like. Kane's could never. And it's what? got a little bit of seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. All right, one more tender. I'm just freaking impressed. The tenders are the best part now. Yeah. Anyway, you can put it in here. You don't want to hold it anymore. Anyway, next place we're going to is called Lizard's Thicket. I'm not sure if it's a chain, okay? I don't know. Like, do you know? I mean, I know it's around its area, but... But, like, I don't think it's... I don't think it's a chain. Anyway, it's supposed to be, like, southern food. Like, if you, you know, have a meltdown on Thanksgiving and you don't have anywhere to go, you're supposed to be able to get, like, all the fixins and things at Lizard's Thicket. Okay? So, what I have gotten in the past is a good batch of okra. Okra? Okra. Yes. Which is funny or not because this entire city slash town whatever you want to call it is the home of the okra strut yeah okay yep. so it's supposed to know something about okra if you don't know what okra is it's a food we eat in the south usually fry it what don't we fry um and it's delicious nutritious you don't, you know, no. you know what I, I hope they have it for you i really do i hope they do too so that's what i'm going for what do you what's your order when you go to the I, I don't go that much. But I bet you get the greens. I bet you get the collards. Probably. Mac and cheese for sure. Mac and cheese. I mean, it changes. Sometimes they have yam. Different stuff, yeah. yeah. It just depends. What's in, what's in the season? Yeah, what's the seasoning? Okay, know. I'm done. It still has the crunch. Like, I'm still hearing that crunch off the toast. Okay, I'm just right. Oh, wow. Love to see it. All right. Let's continue on our journey. That was well. We're, we're, we're playing this pretty well. Yeah. I mean, if you had to rank what we've eaten so far, how would you rank it? Bojangles, number one. Bojangles, number one. Even though I do think the chicken is tin, tin, like more juicy here. I'll give it that. I didn't have But a, the taste of it. I didn't eat. The seasoning is better at Bojangles. I didn't eat chicken there. Okay. And a biscuit. That's fine. I'm ranking my meals. Oh, that goes number one. I'm not going to rank the ocean water because you know it's a rank it's in and of itself. It's unrankable. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know that's what? Unrankable. It's unbreakable. <laughs> unbreakable. Um. Yeah. I think I like the the quality better here, but mm -hmm. the taste okay. better at Bojangles. Yeah, because they're they're really their seasoning unmatched. Unmatched. Unbreakable. Unbreakable. In this world. So anyway, all right, let's go. Let's go. Here she is, Miss America. Miss America. Mac and cheese and a side of cornbread. Yep, that'll be it. All right, 1304, ma'am. Would you like plasticware? Uh, no, I'm good. All right, we'll see you in the window. Thank you. They're asking about plasticware. How are we gonna eat our food without plasticware? I'm just gonna get some from my grandma's. Okay. I can get some plasticware, you want me to ask? They got okra. I saw. I feel like we didn't do this well. What do you mean? I guess we got the size we wanted. Yeah, what did you want? I have no idea. I came in here blind. <laughs> well, we're getting the real meal after this. True. In my humble opinion. I'm gonna ask for what? What she's reading. Okay. It's a split decision that I just made. I'm excited to see. All right. You wanna ask her? No. Okay. Yeah, forget that crazy <laughs> psycho idea. Nothing I love more. more than being in an awkward situation. You mean when I'm in an awkward situation? I can support you, you know, but me putting myself in an awkward situation? Could never, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. But Christine, I actually, Nobody better mess with the best tea, but someone mess with me. <laughs> there. I was about to say, I feel like I, I thrive in awkward situations because my whole life is an awkward situation. So honestly, I just, you said it. I just improv. That's yeah. my life, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this song. Thank you. Let me check it out. That I don't know. It looks like it should be. Wow, it's brand new. It's just the sign. Yeah. Forty plus milkshakes, baby. Here we go. Can I do a cookout tray with two quesadillas, hush puppies, and a corn dog, 
And then, uh, uh, can I just get, um, I actually like don't want to drink. I just want to do a milkshake. You heard that? $13 for all of that wonderful amazingness. Wow, I miss the sauce. <laughs> he was over us. <laughs> He was. He was like, just tell me what you want. I heard his bickering. I said, just pick Honestly, because you know when you say you're not ready in a line, you know they hear everything. <laughs> you know they hear everything. So they're just like, Wait, not. I feel like I might. No, that's not possible. You know this guy? No, it's not possible. I was like, I'm asking him about the book. This is my last chance. I got to redeem myself after Lizard's Thicket, so. Yeah, you popped out. He's in the middle of an order. I don't want to interrupt. Hey, here you go. Just give us one second on your shake. Okay. And he gives us the shakes. Okay, you try to do it. I have to. If not, it's not meant to be. I just don't want to ignore his work, but obviously I need to just fuck up and do it. Okay, look at him. Hard at work, this guy. It's because the line doesn't stop. I, it really out. doesn't. Oh, it smells so good. The hush puppies, man. That's not the quesadilla or the corn dog. Why? Well, we don't need any butter. We eat in fried products. For the hush puppies? You don't put nothing on the hush puppies. You put butter on hush puppies? Yeah. Wow, that must be a healthy person's privilege because I could not. My heart could not. My arteries, <laughs> putting butter on hush puppies. I'm dead. I'm dead. Can I ask you really quick, yes. what's the last book that you read? The last book I read? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is childish, but I read Cat in the Hat to my little sister. Oh! <laughs> Okay, cool. All right, awesome. thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Perfect. An intellect. An to intellect. Love the sister. That was so. Oh my god, he was smiling too. So where are we going? We going to the left, right, like right, right, left. Yeah, like behind this truck. Yeah. He was smiling so much about his sister. That was sweet. Great. Oh man, that made me feel good. I was I smiling. I'm glad I recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> Better when you hold it up. Well, I cleaned off the screen. Yeah. That'll do it. It was definitely dirty. All right. Our new vlog camera's battery died. Yeah. We're mean? not used to the vlogging camera. Yeah. We'll yeah. figure it out. We're going to get some batteries. It's a learning experience. Yeah. And you guys are here with us. Okay. So we're going to try and use it for the end when we talk about the food. But we wanted to do a little... Intermission game. Yeah. Intermission game. Which I think... While it's charging. Because that's our... Look. Okay. I found something. I did. Our luck really is that there's a USB cord, like, outlet in this car. Yep. This is my mom's car, y'all, so. Yep. She's, she's got it. She's got it going on. So okay. what's the game? You guys can play with us. I'll be the, I don't know if the tell us right or wrong answer, so we'll see. All right, it's a quiz on BuzzFeed. We'll link it down below. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if it's fun. Can you guess which classic piece of literature these modern movies and shows are based on? Okay. All right. This sounds like a lot of fun for me. First up, we have this. What book is this classic? <laughs> Mom! Wow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna steal this for my car. Don't take your mom's thing. Just ask for one. What? Just gonna come when this they is can't awesome. navigate anywhere. This is seriously so awesome. Okay, guys. It's awesome because she bought one that actually holds the phone. You be getting the cheap Amazon version. Thing be falling off. Mine's magnetic. No, I'm talking about, I know you bought something like this before that tried to stick to the window and you couldn't get it to stick. Oh, that's because it wasn't for the phone, it's for the camera. Remember? The camera was too heavy. Anyway. Okay. Over there. All right, let's, let's let's play this game. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. What book is this classic '90s teen movie based on? I'm about to show the picture. What book? Mm -hmm. I I mm, I don't even know if I've seen that movie. They give us options. Should we guess? Yeah, I would like the options because I don't know if I know that movie. The like Great that. Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Emma by Jane Austen. Sense and Sensibility. By Jane Austen. I want to say it's Jane Austen. Okay. I just don't know Sense and Sensibility that well. I don't even. What's the plot of Clueless? I don't know. I don't. I is have, she new in school, or is she just? She like lives with her brother, her stepbrother, but then she ends up liking him. 
we know the plot of that part. What's 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 what the friends? I've no I literally don't I don't think I've ever seen this movie. We've I'm gonna have to the, guess. I've seen the TV show more than I saw the movie. I know I was off brand. She looks like her. Yeah, but it's not it's not her. It's okay. Not her. I want to say it's either a Jane Austen as well. I want to say Sense and Sensibility. All right, we'll guess that, but my guess was Emma. Okay. Okay. <gasps> it was Emma! It was Emma? I've read Emma. I've never read Emma. I just went with my gut. I've read Emma you and I've Emma. seen- said Emma. I know. I said I read Emma and I've seen Clueless once. I haven't, I haven't seen or read either Because Clueless, she like kind of talks to the camera, you know? And she's really? Like, is that how Emma is? Sorry, I was basing it off the movie that just came out. Okay. But in Clueless, she kind of like talks to the camera. Fourth wall. And Breaks gets ready. Wall. Okay. So it's probably why they tried to make that Emma movie like that. Oh, okay. That all kind of makes sense now. That's crazy. All right, I guessed wrong. I knew it was Jane Austen, though. We're not competing, so as a group, we failed. But I was right. <laughs> We're not competing unless Monique starts winning. Then we will be competing. I mean, I didn't know I knew classics. Apparently, I might really be classics. I already know the answer to this one. It's Scarlet Letter. Yes, the movie was Easy A, and uh, it's by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So mm -hmm. we'll just skip on down. I'm going to hide <laughs> it because you're going to start guessing. Ooh, what story inspired the plot of this animated feature? Lion King. What story? Yeah. What are the options? Okay. We have Hamlet by William Shakespeare. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. The Count of Monte Cristo and King Lear. I feel like it might be King Lear just given the fact that it's about a king. But Hamlet has some royalty in it. I don't not remember The Count of Monte Cristo, but to be honest. Um, but it could be A Tale of Two Cities because there's like the place over there the outlands what do you call it okay i have to admit i've never read hamlet in my life what's the plot of hamlet do you know because if i'm going off my gut i'm gonna say count of monte cristo what's kind of monte cristo i forgot what it's about so in the count of monte cristo there's a, a king right like a duke sort of is he not a real and duke? he ends up getting betrayed by somebody and oh, that seems the son like he he a ends up getting prince? He ends up Simba. getting imprisoned, prisoned, okay, forever, like Outcasted. years, years. Okay, so he grew up with Swan and Pumbaa, right? Okay. And then the son ends up growing up under the wing of the guy, of the guy who like betrayed him. Oh, so that's like if Simba was raised by Scar, right? Okay. So it's like not exactly. It. That's why I was like maybe Hamlet is no, exactly. I it. think Hamlet. It's like. If there was a brother betrayal, that's what I would have guessed. So that's why I was like, is Hamlet a brother betrayal? I'm going to be honest. I remember, I literally just remember to be or not to be. And the man was kind of, um, you know, depressed, you know, to be or not to be. Is that to the be question? or not to be. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if, if Hamlet is Scar or if Hamlet Mufasa. Right. And then what was the last one? King Lear. I had never read it, but it seems I, I was going to go off King Lear duly because of the title what is king lear about you know the lion king king lear these are these are two options here it might be king lear i don't know i never read it but if i had to guess i would go with the only one that i have really read so we're saying the count of monte cristo but like it could be king lear i mean you but said what if that it's a tale of two cities because you know they got the, the the place anything the sun touches but the stuff beyond that you know i don't know nothing about the tale of two cities i can't i, I clearly poverty, have not read any of these like poverty like once yeah. all right i'm gonna go count monte cristo because i have a basic synopsis of it like I, I, like i might know more of than i think but like it's not unlocking you know what i mean so i'm gonna go with what you said because i don't know if we should i i picked wrong last time well i've said Why every other go option. with yours what's your pick what was your gut you said King Lear. Go with King Lear. I didn't say that. I said King Lear only because it has King in the title. That's probably why. I was thinking of Tales to All right, we're over, we're overthinking. I'm doing Calvary Click it. Crystal. Click it. It was King Lear, wasn't it? Was it King Lear? It was Hamlet. I'm so sorry. I should have really went with my gut. I've never read Hamlet. I said, Hamlet. I read Hamlet, but I guess obviously he, Hamlet, Hamlet, let's see, maybe they explained it. No, they don't explain it. We'll have to look that up later. Yeah. What's the plot of Hamlet? We need like a third person that would know. I'm going to look up the plot of Hamlet. Because more. that is crazy. No, like I remember reading Hamlet. 
Hamlet plot. First of all, Hamlet is a play, so it shouldn't even be included in this classic. King literature. Lear is a play as well. Exactly. Shakespeare should not be included because it's not a book. It's a play that should be actually watched. That doesn't make sense. Okay, it was literally what I said. Okay, so there is a... The ghost of the King of Denmark tells his son Hamlet to avenge his murder. Oh, I didn't say the avenge part. This is, you're literally describing the Lion King. His dad's ghost, tell like when he's with Rafiki. I hear you. No, that's I hear literally you. the plot of the Lion King. I forgot about the ghost of King Denmark. I just remember <laughs> Hamlet being stressed out a lot, but I didn't realize Hamlet was Simba. See how I said I thought Hamlet. Okay. All right, well, next. But that makes sense. Hamlet's uncle is the king. Yeah, that's definitely it. I should have. Okay, next. There's probably betrayal in there. It's. I have a very general understanding. Okay, here we go. I've never seen this. Actually, hey, that's that girl from um, some mm -hmm. Stranger Things. What was her name? Okay. What is the classic? I've seen this movie. What is the classic work of this modern high school flick? Sierra Burgess is a loser. I can probably pop up what it is too in editing. Sierra Burgess is a loser? All right. This... Off the bat, it's not Greg Gatsby. The options are Pygmalion, Twelfth Night, Siriano de Bergiac. I, I, that, I think that's it. I think that's it. Siriano de Bergiac? Yes, because Does in she this, write letters? in this she thing, to be, she pretends to be somebody else she that pretty through girl text right? messages. Yes, she pretends to be the the girl. Yeah. If there's a trope I know, if there's a trope I know, it's the Siriano de Bergiac. I know. I was like, how is that one? Like, I'm telling you, you would only know because I talk about it all the time. No, that's not true. The movie came out. The movie came out with um, the guy from Game of Thrones before you started talking about it. I brought this up before the movie came out. And you always look at me with blank stares. Brought it up with our other roommate. Blank stares. Blank stares. Okay. Which, okay, you know this. Just go ahead and tell me. What is the book inspo of 10 Things I Hate About You? I actually don't know. What are the options? You don't know this one? Mm mm. 10 Things I Hate About You? What's the movie about? Um, so in 10 Things I Hate About You, there is, there are two sisters. One of them is younger and cute and popular. The other one is older and she's kind of like going against the grain. Like she doesn't want to be popular. She just wants to be her own self. So she's kind of like what I would call a punk kid, you know? Okay. What's the so, trope though? I don't, I'm just, I'm okay. going to tell you, I don't know if there is a trope, but essentially the younger sister can't go out unless the older sister goes out but the older sister doesn't go out because she's against the grain and we don't need this whole well that's the only trope of fake dating i guess i don't know so the the point of the story is the little siblings hire someone to date the older sibling and they actually fall in love maybe yes. maybe not yes okay. so it's a pretty good movie so we have some options i'm going to go ahead and x out the scarlet letter yeah that's not it so we have pride and prejudice the taming of the shrew and pygmalion taming of the shrew that was my guess. Taming of the shrew. Confident. Yeah, because they even say in the movie, they were like, you're such a shrew. And that has to be because they are they based it off that movie. I mean, off of that uh, because pride, story. But Pride and Prejudice. You're right. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yay. Taming of the shrew. That was my guess too. Nice. Okay. What intense tale was this wild comedy based off of? The Nutty Professor? Yep. What are the options? I'm gonna say, uh, my answer is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but it has much ado about nothing by William Shakespeare, The Count of Monte Cristo, and then The Crucible. It could be The Crucible. I don't think it's The Crucible. <laughs> um, it's probably The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, right? Why do you think that? Because he used to look normal, then he had a, didn't he have an accident and it changed him? Isn't that the Is plot? that what happened? Okay. It must be. I mean, I guess that must be. I, I don't know, though, because he... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is, like, evil and not evil. Let's and just look up the plot Nutty of Professor Nutty Professor. Professor. Yeah. Is that cheating? Maybe. He's, he's like, not an evil dude. I was going to say much to do about nothing, probably. Brilliant and obese scientist Sherman Klump invents a miraculous weight loss solution. And after a date with a chemistry student, Carla goes badly a depressed clump tries the solution on himself i guess it is dr jekyll and mr hyde okay has probably no more about looks than it does about 
personality, but... It, I could be wrong. No, I think you're right. Let's go with Dr. Jekyll. I don't know what any of... I mean, I know what the Chimera Crystal is. The Crucible, I feel like it's wrong. No, it's not the Crucible. It's about witches, witch hunting and stuff. We were right! Look at him. Ew, he's so crazy looking. Dr. Mm -hmm. Jekyll. Okay, we know this. She's the man! This movie is so good. Mm. Twelfth Night. Yeah. Okay, easy peasy. I do know William Shakespeare. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, this was your show. I did not watch the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> this was not your show. Which saucy story inspired this? Revenge. Edgy. So what I know about this is her father dies or something. I feel like it's the Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah, this would be the, the Count of Monte Cristo, I think. Yes. We're getting Yes. It. I've never seen Revenge, but I think, you know, that's what it was. Which book was the basis for Bridget Jones' diary? This is all you, man. I don't know anything about Bridget Jones. Huh? Me? It's all me. Oh. This one's hard. Okay, so the options for Bridget Jones are Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and Little Women. It's not Little Women. She's I don't know anything about... I don't know anything about You don't know anything Bridget about Wuthering, Jones. Wuthering Heights? No, Bridget Jones. I, I don't know the plot of that movie. I think she go. I think... Okay. So what I am, remember, because I've only seen it... I'm also basing it off Bridget Jones' Diary 2. Okay. So I think there's obviously a a triangle, a love triangle here. Yeah, I think she ends up she. So Bridget Jones, <laughs> one of one of them, they're one of them are, or both of them are highly successful people. I think one is a celebrity. I'm gonna say this guy. Mm -hmm. And so I think in her diary she says she likes both of them. I don't remember. I just know who she ends up with, you know? Okay, it's not Pride and Prejudice. And it's not the other one that you said, Little Women. No, it's clearly not Little Women. Are you sure? Because she she writes a lot in Little Women. Should I look up the Joe's plot? thing. Should I look up the plot of the movie? And she has, like, a thing where, like, she should have been with What's-His-Face, but she ends up being with a whole different guy. That kind of sounds like what you said for Bridget Jones. Little Women. Should I look up the plot of this movie or not? I think we should just guess and not cheat. Okay, so what's... I don't name? think... It could be Little Women or Wuthering Heights. Okay. I was going to say Jane Eyre, because that's the only book I like. What's Jane well, Eyre I about? Like, I don't really remember. I'm going on vibes. Let's say Little Women, because I did like Little Women when I was little. I hope I'm not leading us astray. I'm nervous. You click it. Oh, it was Pride and Prejudice! Whoa. You would like this movie. I kept trying to tell you you'd like Bridget Jones' Diary, but no. You didn't tell me that. I've brought it up. I've brought it up multiple times that this was a funny movie, especially number I'm two. I'm confused. So what is it about? Like, it's clearly not what you thought it was about because you would have said Pride and Prejudice. I thought it, because I told you I was basing it off number two. I said I was basing off my synopsis off those seconds that I like. I've never been interested in Bridget Jones. Let's, let's look it up. I think it's just so annoying how she talks. Britishly? plot at the start of new year 32 year old bridget decides it's time to take control of her life and keeps a diary now the most provocative and erotic historical book on her bedside table is the one she's writing with the taste of adventure and an opinion on every with an opinion on every subject for exercise to men um she's turning the page on a whole new life so this synopsis would not have helped us. Anyway. Yeah, that would have literally made me think it was Little Women because she writes a book in Little Women. I don't think that answer was correct. Well, that's what they told us. I think it was Little Women. Okay, I think we're almost done. I'm Ooh, gonna... Empire! Uh, season one Empire really changed the world. Dra drama? Okay, okay, so... Now I think we can say King Gr Lear. Oh, oh, I don't know anything about King Lear. So that's all you... I just feel like that's right, right? What you think I'll say? Great Gatsby? I was gonna say Great Gatsby, yeah. Should we rock, paper, scissors? No. We're going on. Okay, why did you go say Great Gatsby? I don't know, like parties, fame, drama. But nobody was on top. Except for Gatsby. But he, he might not even be a person. Might be a So what's King Lear about? I don't know. <laughs> All right, hit, hit King Lear. Monique's a better guesser at things than I am. 
I'm not a good guesser. Well, because everything else didn't make sense. Hamlet, Great Gatsby. It couldn't have been Great Gatsby. Really? Empire. Maybe because I've watched the show Empire more. Empire is not about a party. You know what I mean? It's not about someone going there. It's about somebody building something from nothing. And it, being in his their empire. And they're trying to like stay in On control top. of the empire. Yeah. That must be what King Lear's about. I think so, but I've never read it. But it's giving either. me like, the vibe of you know, like, If anything Oh no, not this movie. Okay. Which book inspired this wacky movie? Downsizing. By, by Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Alright, we have Lord of the Flies, War of the Worlds, Great Gatsby, and The Incredible Shrinking Man. I wanna say the last one, but <laughs> I could be wrong. The Incredible Shrinking Man has to be what it is. Yeah, that was too easy. Come okay. on, guys. Which one? Which, which Pretty novel? Woman. Yeah, which novel inspired Pretty Woman? This is what I think it's going to be since it's his ability. Or Wuthering Heights. Or Pygmalion. It's Pygmalion. Is it? It's got to be, right? What's, What's Pygmalion, Pygmalion about? Um, isn't it about trying to be pretty? I mean, based on the cover, I would say Pygmalion because that girl is in a nice suit. She's got lots of dresses around her. And yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I know yes. titles. Okay. We got yes. nine out of 12 correct. We're 73. Moving. We made a D. Nice. You would have made a C if we listened to me. Just kidding. <laughs> I told you to click it, but you said no. No, no, no. We, were, we were a group project and that's what happens sometimes that was fun that was fun great job whoever oh well we gave all the answers so there's no point in posting the quiz but <laughs> okay so the end of this vlog is gonna be just us with the iphone with the iphone i'm gonna turn this off because we don't have to have that on all right so here's the deal it's wheel we've got cookout tray yep. and we've got lizard stick it yes Okay, so, oh, cornbread. They got you cornbread. Well, yeah. No, okra, it'd be looking like this. I love how you were like, you're getting okra. It's good too. It's like fried veggie something. I don't know what okra is. Cornbread. Yeah, it's too, I think. That's, that's. The thumbnail. Yeah. I love cornbread, man. Yeah. Mm. This I would put a little butter on. Mmm. That's enough of that. <laughs> I love okra, man. Really good. I'm gonna eat the mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, they need butter on this. There's butter in there. I don't know if cornbread is good without any any fixing mm -hmm. you know we need the collard green juice to mm -hmm. soak it up a little pinto beans yeah i was gonna say you need beans you need honey gravy. maybe uh -uh. yeah gravy you need you want something some of this there's another fork in there probably Jamie. another fork in there oh they said party for two they probably heard it's bigger <laughs> i'm like pretty harsh on mac and cheese okay the good cheese, man. It's good. And that's some good mac and cheese. Yeah. There's no way lizard stick it would be in business if the mac and cheese wasn't good. And you know what? Now you might need some pepper. I think there's some in the in the some salt. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yes, I know. Show that to them. Well, it's like home cooking. Ooh! But in a restaurant that you can go to the drive through for. This is really good. If somebody had mac and cheese on a drive through like this in California, I'd be there too much. I'd be there too much. All right, one more. Okay. You can use money you want. Mmm. 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 All right, I made room. That's good. Where am I going to put it? That's good. Mac and cheese, grape. Mac and cheese, grape. Honestly, it's exactly what you said. Like, if, if we, you're looking for home cooked through a drive through Yeah, we, we should have gotten a shared plate of something that we could eat a nipple of. But. You know, sides can't be beat. If the oven blows up, where are you going? And I want southern food. Home yeah, like cooking? like I'm say I'm saying, you know, you were gonna get together with the family mm -hmm. and it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. They might not be open actually. You were gonna get together for an important family dinner. 
Mm -hmm. The oven explodes. Where are you going? Close your second. Never or know. another family member. So. Or another family member's house. Now. Cookout. Cookout is a special place. It's a special time. It's really just so good because you get a tray of food. Mm -hmm. Okay. And y'all heard in the clip, $13. And you get hush puppies, corn dogs, two quesadillas. Okay. This and... And the, the shakes. Creme de la creme. 40 plus, you know, flavors of shakes. The shakes. The shakes are the best part. That'll be the last thing we oh, do. that one's yours. Um, and sometimes they give you an extra fry. Nice. The thing with cookout. You can have the corn dog. Is that. Bro. Are you going to put butter on these? I'm gonna just do it. Put butter on these. Honey butter. Honey butter on these? It's delicious. You don't know about honey butter, man? I know about honey butter. I'm saying on hush puppies. You're really funny. Maybe ketchup. You try to act like honey butter is gonna be the worst thing for this. I just can't, I can't foresee it. This is like the college kids meal. Mm -hmm. Like when you're drunk and you need something to eat, stat, cook out. When you're, mm -hmm. you know, about to study for an exam, and you need something to eat, cookout. One time, <laughs> I went to pick up cookout trays for my whole dorm. I have all my roommates. Christine was still my roommate then. Funny story. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get the trays. And the way the the sidewalk is set, it's more of a, like a down, it was a slope. And climb. Mm -hmm. So this is me. These are the cookout trays, both hands. And somewhere around here, I just felt myself falling forward. And down the slope. Cookout trays have flown into the cars. Drinks are rolling down. It's kind of like your Ireland story. No, I didn't actually fall down. It just, the bag broke. Me, for some reason, my legs decided not to work. Excuse me. Um, I fell. What's wrong? I'm just excited um, for the quesadilla. It was very embarrassing because it was a Friday night. Parking lot was full. I'm very full, but I'm going to eat this quesadilla with gusto. You did it for the team, though, you know? You did. Just like you're doing this for the team. Mm -hmm. Normally I get a burger. I feel like I'm in college again. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't know there was meat in this. You didn't know there was chicken? There's always been chicken. A little hot sauce. I think every time I've eaten one of these, I've just been blasted. So. You just say cheese. Warm cheese. Yeah, warm cheese and a quesadilla. Crazy. I can't believe you didn't order meat in the quesadilla. That's so funny. That's crazy. Well, I would never order cheese and tortilla as a meal. Just alone. Without any... I guess it comes with a corn... You're really ordering it for the corn dog. No. She's not ordering this for the quesadilla. Correct. I'm going to be saving this for my midnight snack later. Because I am three hours... Late. I got so hungry at like 11, like 12 30. I was like, oh no. And I tried to go to bed. I wasn't tired. This is so good, dude. Damn. I need to make a bag of all my goodies. Mm. Straws? Yeah, in the bag. Oh. You kept saying everything's going to be last, so I just. Uh, uh, just Whoa. That was a good burp. How do you burp with. We don't even have carbonation. It's because I eat fast. Wow, when Christine. You, wow. That explains everything. Wow. Yeah, when you eat fast, wow. you take in air. No, 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 no. You don't understand me. You eat so fast. Yeah. It's You eat so fast, it affects your human biology, physiology. Is that a bad thing or? I just, because like, I only burp because I you drink a lot of, you know, sparkling water, Sprite. I like burping. It makes me feel better. 
And I was just like, how? Yeah, because you gulp down a whole cooked quesadilla. I don't know why I eat that. I think it's a learned behavior from my dad, unfortunately. Not to get Dr. Phil in here, but I have no siblings. Like, why do I need to eat fast? You know what I mean? Like, the food will be there. The food will be there. I'm and a in slower fact, eater. my parents made me eat all my food before I left the table. So, I'm going to eat. Don't right. hush puppies. Bruh. Should we do the. Yeah, I think so. This car is trash. We gotta clean this out before my, before my mom gets back in here. So, Monique and I got similar shakes. This is actually good because it melted a little bit. Mm. Similar shakes, mm. the basis of which are what I would say is our favorite flavors, right? Should you guess? I know what you got. I was saying they should guess. Oh, I don't know if they know our tastes well enough to guess. Mine looks like this. Yeah, you can't even see it. That's because we're using an iPhone. It's a two flavor combo. Yeah, if we had that camera. Mine looks similar. <laughs> this is a clue. <laughs> anyway, I got the- You know, somebody is gonna say caramel. They're screaming. Mm -hmm. Caramel! Wrong! Yeah, disgusting. Now don't get crazy now. I'm just kidding. You can like caramel. I like caramel, but I'm not. I don't think I would go for it in a mm -mm. milkshake. It's really sweet. But this milkshake is an Oreo peanut butter blend. Mm -hmm. It's truly the best milkshake. Mine's an Oreo chocolate blend. Mmm. Would really be good if you put some peanut butter in yours. Mm -hmm. A little sea salt. Yeah, I like peanut butter. I love peanut butter. But this is the one that I used to get. Chocolate and Oreo. Oreo and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Remember that one time we got our cups confused? Mm-hmm. I was like, this isn't right. Mm-hmm. what I want. It doesn't taste right. And you were like, it's because you're drinking mine. I mm -hmm. here. Honestly, better that you do that than me. Because if I drank it, you wouldn't have drank it after that. I don't. I think I would have just changed straw. I'm not going to throw away a whole milkshake. Now, if I saw you spitting the milkshake back into it. <laughs> I was just, I was just, because you know how the Oreo gets stuck in the straw? I was just <laughs> blowing it back in there just now. <laughs> and that's what made me laugh, because you were like, now you blow it back in there. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I think that's the end of this video. Yeah, sorry about the quality. <laughs> well, he's fun. I'm just learning, you know? I'm learning about the camera, so. I was a camera person. I'm just apologizing. I'm not apologizing, you know? I meant about the battery. Now, the shots, yeah, that's all Monique. I'm very full. I feel pleasant. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, you know, stuck, Yeah, sick. But I think I ate well today. I, I ate very well, too. Wait to take the leftovers. So, what we're dividing? Yeah, I'm, I'm giving them all to you. Oh, yeah, okay. Your mom wouldn't have a fit. Well, she wants to get Chinese from Sun Ming. Oh, today? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought y'all was getting Chinese. No poor. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's at home, like, not at my grandmom's. He's missing out on all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a long closing. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. But anyway, thanks so much for going on this trip with us. We really just wanted to try all the food. Um... Uh, you know, in our hometown, again, that we haven't had in a while. Because I'm going to say, when I come home, I don't eat like this. Me neither. I eat, I'm eating at my grandma's. I'm I eating might at my get mom's. Zaxby's, maybe. I, I do get Bojangles every time. So I think that speaks for itself. Yeah, I do get Actually, because you're right. It's right by the airport. Mm-hmm. Pop, pop, poop, poop. Mm-hmm. So that, like, if I had to rank it, probably that's number one. That, Zaxby's. I think we hit all the ones we had it, yeah. Actually, I don't think we had Bo those Jingles, Sonic, but it was Zaxby's, nice, a nice cherry on top, literally. Cookout. That says a lot that we didn't get a milkshake from Sonic. Mm. That speaks... I, I get... Yeah, I get shakes from that here. That speaks highly of these milkshakes. Yeah, shakes from Cookout. That we saved it for this and not at Sonic. Sonic together. These feel like they're made better for some reason. It's because it's got... Yeah, enough said. 
36. Oh, number 36. I thought they were saying there were only 36 flavors. I was like, your sign says 40. Oh, it's because of holidays. I mm -hmm. think there is 36 flavors. Hmm. There you go. Anyway, back to what I was saying, though. Goodbye. Thanks so much for joining us. Subscribe if you want. Comment down below. If you live in the South, let us know your favorite restaurant because maybe we'll do another one of these. Part two. Mm -hmm. We did see a one we missed. Yeah, we did see a couple. a couple. Yeah, a couple that we missed. Also, I think it's kind of funny if I can just balls up to ask people what they're reading in the drive-thru. Like that, I feel like that's a funny thing, so. Yeah, I mean, the worst that can happen is they give us a stink eye. That bad. one lady? Yeah, we didn't. I didn't even think about yeah, asking her. But she didn't seem the kind of kid around. <laughs> Which I respect, you know, she's at work. Mm-hmm. You don't want to mess they around with are. us. Yep. So. Okay, guys. All right, we're going to go. Bye, y'all.